Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to manage your Polkadot using your Ledger device. I'm going to show you how to do a couple of transfers. So let's get started. All right, so I did a video uh, a few weeks ago about uh, how to store Polkadot on a Ledger. So I will direct you to that video. I'll put a link to it up in the corner. So that'll get you started on how to set up the Polkadot app on your Ledger device and manage it using the Polkadot JS interface. Uh, so uh, let me show you where we stand. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have the latest version of the Polkadot app for your Ledger device. So I'm going to show you just briefly. Uh, we're in Ledger Live here, and we will not be able to see our Polkadot balance or manage it from Ledger Live. But this is where we make sure we've got the latest version of the app, and that's done in the manager over here. So we'll go over to the manager. All right, and we're going to want to allow Ledger Manager on our device by clicking both buttons. Now, as you can see, I already have the Polkadot app installed on my device. So uh, if you don't, you'll want to get that done. So you can just look for it over here in the app catalog. Uh, there it is. And as you can see, I've already got mine installed. Now, when you first go into Ledger Manager, you might see up at the top, a uh, update section where it tells you you need to update your apps and if you have installed the polka dot app in the past you will see that it needs to be updated if you haven't updated it yet all right because i'm running uh, version 5.230 right that is at this point that's the latest version of the polka dot app so you're going to want to make sure that you've got the latest version of this app in order to do the send and receive that I'm about to demonstrate. All right, so we're done with Ledger Live. We cannot manage our Polkadot on Ledger Live. I know that's hard for some people to accept, but that's the reality. Uh, but we can manage it just as easily using their interface on uh, the Polkadot website. So let's do that. I'm going to run over here to uh, the Polkadot Substrate Portal. All right. Now, when I launch that portal, uh, it asks me to sign into the extension. So I use both the extension uh, and the ledger to manage two different wallets. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that. All right. And there you can see that I've got an account already uh, that's tied to the Polkadot extension. Right. This guy right here. All right. And if you don't have that, I would suggest getting that. Uh, I'll put links to all these down in the description. I notice here that it uh, tells me I need to update my extension. I'm going to go over to the settings page there. We'll update metadata. And uh, we'll go ahead and allow that in the extension. Make sure we've got the latest version. All right. We can go back over to accounts. And I'm not getting that message anymore. So we're in good shape. But what we're really interested in at the moment is managing our ledger balance. So as you can see, I've got add ledger up here at the top. Now, if you don't see that up there, you might need to go back over to settings and make sure that this manage hardware connections has got attached ledger via web USB. Uh, you might have do not attach ledger devices active. That does happen occasionally. It goes back to the default. So just make sure that you've got this on attached ledger via web USB. And when you go back to accounts, you should see the add ledger option. All right. So we're going to click that. And I, when I first set this up, I set it up on the first address. This is the derivation path. Now you can create several, uh, addresses on your ledger device using this interface. I'm just going to stick to 00 because that's where I set it up originally. But you can add more. You can manage multiple addresses using this interface. But you really don't need to. Uh, you can just use the default. All right? Let's hit save here. Now, it wants me to uh, connect my device. And as you can see there, it's saying that it doesn't see a compatible device. 
that's probably because I'm not in the Polkadot app. All right, so I'm just gonna start this whole process over. All right, we wanna make sure that we're in the Polkadot app. So that means that we just navigate over to the Polkadot app and hit both buttons. All right, now that I've done that, I'll go ahead and give that another try there. Let's hit save and there it is. So I'm just gonna click on the device, I'll hit connect. And there we can see my ledger device. And you can see that I've got about 25 dot on there. All right, so uh, I showed you how to get all this set up in the last video. I'll still direct you up to that. Uh, if you wanna learn to get it set up, get the app installed and transfer some dot on there. We've already done that, right? We're gonna move on now. I got a lot of people, I got a lot of people asking me how do you transfer it off, all right? They wanna know how to liquidate, right? It's of course. So there are a couple of things that we can do. Uh, one of them is to transfer it to another wallet, which I can show you how to do that. But I think most people would be interested in maybe transferring it over to a cryptocurrency exchange. So I'll show you how to do Binance and Bittrex wherever Bittrex is, there we go. All right, so let's start with Binance. Uh, we wanna go to Binance and we wanna do a deposit. And we're gonna deposit crypto, so we'll click crypto. And then instead of Bitcoin, we're gonna deposit DOT, D-O-T. All right, and there it is. And they're gonna give us a DOT address, all right? This is a DOT address, usually starts with a 1-5. So I'm gonna copy that into my clipboard. Now, uh, just briefly, uh, there is a thing called new dot. So uh, we'll see over on Bittrex that they're calling it new dot. Most people are just calling it dot. It has been renumerated. So, but that doesn't really affect new holders of dot, uh, people that are purchasing dot. Uh, but if you had dot in the past, uh, your dot will have been renumerated. Uh, but that's not really going to affect us today. All right. So just keep that in mind. All right. So uh, we've got the dot address copied into our clipboard. Let's go back over here. Let's go over to our ledger and we want to do a send. So we'll hit send. Now, this is a little bit confusing here. Uh, we want to put a new address in here. So sometimes it gets a little confusing because it auto fills an address there for us. Our, but uh, I'm not gonna use this address, so I'm just gonna click right on top there, and you can see I've got the IBAR, the edit field, the text edit field, and I can just paste right in there. And that is my new address, that is the address of my Binance account for DOT. All right, you can see there, just confirm that. I'll click that, all right, and then we can sort of double check there. Uh, there's the address. Right, you can see the beginning of the address and the end of the address here, and you can see a large chunk of it over here. We can just uh, click back over here and just eyeball it and make sure that it's the right address. I just pasted it in, it should be, All right? All right, I'm not sure why it sees that there's 82 dot on the other end. Uh, I don't have 82 dot in my Binance account, uh, but the address is correct, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to do five dot here. We'll hit five. Now uh, I'm going to turn on the uh, ledger camera so you can see what's going on over here. We're going to need to sign this transaction. And we'll do that from our ledger because the private keys of our dot are being held on the ledger device. All right. So uh, we'll hit make transfer. And then I'm going to click sign and submit. And you'll notice there that uh, some information comes up on my ledger screen. I'm gonna scroll through that information. There's my destination address, the amount, uh, some other information regarding this transaction. I'm gonna scroll all the way over to approve, and then I'll hit both buttons. And you'll see that that uh, transaction is being broadcast and then finally sent out. Hit close there. My camera was in the way uh, short for a second there. Let me just put this back where it belongs and just turn it off. All right, so we saw the transaction go out. We can see that I have less DOT on my ledger-based wallet now. And let's go over to Binance and just kind of wait for that DOT to arrive. Uh, I'll get an alert from Binance. All right, 
So, but while we're waiting on that, I'll show you Bittrex just to kind of reinforce all this. So if we go over to Bittrex and we go to Holdings, uh, we can search for DOT. All right, and they're still, they're calling it new DOT. It is new DOT, uh, and, but I wanna do a deposit. Oh, uh, actually Binance just told me that the uh, deposit came in. So um, let's just go over to Spot Wallet. And there we can see that I've got dot in my Binance account now, five dot. All right, so that went perfect. All right, let's go back over to Bittrex. Let's do deposit. And it looks like they're not allowing deposits right now. All right, so so much for Bittrex. For, so much for Bittrex. At some point, I'm sure they'll enable deposits. All right, so I can show you Bittrex, but uh, basically it would be the same process, right? We'd hit deposit, we'd uh, get the uh, deposit address from Bittrex, and we'd paste it into our send field over in our uh, interface here. Let me show you how we would withdraw to say trust wallet, just so you'll have something. <laughs> All right, so if we take a look at my trust wallet, you can see that I've got a little bit of polka dot in here as well. So uh, let me show you how to move your polka dot back into your trust wallet. I don't know if you'd ever want to do that, but it's a good example of a transfer. So I'll hit uh, the polka dot here and I'm going to do a receive and I'll copy that into my clipboard. Uh, in fact, actually what I'm going to need to do because I'm on a website is share that address with myself. I'll just put in my name there and send an email to myself with that dot address. All right, and there is that dot address. Now, the reason, of course, that I emailed it to myself is because I don't want to try to type that thing in by hand. Problematic, uh, error prone, right? We want to just cut and paste that address into our interface. All right, so let's do another send. I'll hit send. All right, and this time I'm going to send to a different address. So I'm just going to click in the send address field and do another paste. All right, and that is my dot address on my trust wallet. And we can double check that. All right, we can see on my phone that that uh, dot address is the same as what's showing here. We'll just eyeball that. So we're all happy with that. All right, I'll just click that. All right, I'm gonna put five in there again as my amount to send. And sign and submit. And you can see the information comes up on my screen there on my device. I'll just scroll over. There's the five. We're going to go all the way over to approve. We get to approve. We'll hit both buttons. All right. And then we can see that it's broadcasting. And off it goes. All right. You can see there that my balance has adjusted. Let's go over to trust wallet and take a look at see what goes on over there. Just cancel this. I can just pull this down and uh, refresh that and you can see that I just received five dot into my trust wallet. So I showed you two transfers, uh, one to Binance, one to the trust wallet. I wanted to show you Bittrex, but apparently they're not allowing dot uh, deposits at the moment. Uh, but uh, it's uh, trivial once they've uh, enabled that. Uh, but I did show you how to uh, withdraw and transfer dot out of a ledger based wallet. So uh, I feel good about that. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.